you can't see it, but there's at least 10% error in, in the stationary fuel. That's per Caterpillar and other OEMs. As you slosh the fuel, it starts building up air. Look at how it sloshes here. Now I'm going to turn the, re turn the fuel system on and watch how it agitates. Now let me show you up above what's going on. Okay, as we move up from the supply tank, we're going to go to the suction side fuel system here. And that's what we're trying to represent here. This is the inlet line to the filter, and as you can see, the suction side filter is not full. That's what led us on to this problem. And at first, when you put a filter on, you'll fill it up, put it up, you'll fill it up with fuel, put it onto the vehicle, but when you take it off, it's usually never full from when you take it off. And what that common service topic describes is air collects at first. At first, you will not have this type of air going through, this amount of air going to, through to your engine because the majority of the air is collecting just like dirt. Now as it collects, the fuel level will drop. You know, hit an equilibrium point where it will not drop anymore. Once it reaches that point, then you'll start getting a surplus of air. And please, again, I'm not trying to show the accuracy on the amount of air going to your engine because we have a tank here with a little bit of fuel in it. And the fuller your tank is, the cooler it is, and the less time you've been going down the road, the less air you have. So with that being said, we, we move on to the injection pump, the fuel pump, the supply lift pump, whatever you want to call it, and then that feeds into eventually your injectors and your rail line, things like that. Right now, you can see the air passing. You notice how it's not going through consistently. Air is inconsistent, so when you're sitting there idling, you feel that, that miss, that's what you're looking at right here, that inconsistent miss. Sometimes when you're backing up to bump the dock so you can unload your trailer, you have to sit there and feather your pedal to get the mirrors to even out, to make it easier to see. That's what's going on. Okay, and we're gonna show you how this is hurting your injectors and your performance. Now, let's imagine this being the flow rate, the low flow of a mechanical engine. As they, the electronic engines came about and we're even going to even higher flow above the, you know, the electronic engines, the newer ones, as you speed that flow rate up, it also increases the amount of air and vapor going to your engine. You can see how that's speeding up. You can hear it cavitating. Just imagine what it's doing to your injectors. Now, as your restriction goes up with a dirty filter, watch this. I'm going to restrict this little by little, and you can see the amount of fuel starvation, i.e. air, going to your injectors. We've identified that air causes a lack in performance, i.e. horsepower, fuel economy, put more suet through the uh, exhaust, through your DPF, causing more regions. With that all being identified and where the air comes from, let's go into the cure. And this is a fast fuel system. We have the suction side over here, going up through the water separator. The water, se water is being separated out here. You can also see the air gap, just like we had on the stock suction side filtration system. The fuel goes through the filter, goes up to our pump, around our gear. Very high quality pump. We're getting quite a few going over a million miles now. We're filter filtering the dirt out here. We're separating the air. You can see the small gap at the top. But we're separating that air back to the tank right here. We sit there and just continually polish the fuel. Think about that. Take out the equation of air right now as being a number one fluid contaminant. We're sitting there polishing the fuel over and over through the water separator and taking the dirt out here because there's no one filter out there that gets all the dirt and all the water on the first pass but we sit there and polish it over and over. So no one will ever beat our cleanliness of fuel. And you don't even have to use our filters. Now, if you're in extremely cold weather, you can add an electric heater element here. You can add one here. You can add coolant back here. And if you want to know more about this section of our cold weather operation, go to fastride.com, go to our videos, and click on that area. You can see how well we operate in the cold weather. But take a look at this virtually pure fuel going to your engine. Now, I'm going to fire this up. 
Remember that stock filtration system earlier? What do you want going to your injectors? Thank you for your time. Yeah.